I'm Ron Patterson with Utah State University Extension in Carbon County. Zucchini's a, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a favorite garden plant, but a lot of people grow zucchini and it's very easy to grow. The problem is sometimes it's a little bit tough to manage, so I have some little tricks that I do to make my zucchini more manageable. I originally started out with five zucchini plants here, and they've grown. The weaker ones I've taken out, so now I've got two zucchini plants, and I get plenty of zucchini from that. Uh, one is actually probably enough for any family, but uh, a lot of times you, you uh, have a hard time finding the zucchinis and they get these big large baseball bats and so um, most people like to do the little zucchinis, the fritters, things like that. So um, I just made it a little bit easier the way, I, the way I manage my plants, made it easier to find and harvest those zucchini just at the right size. So we'll pull the camera in here and look a little closer at what I'm doing. Now zucchini have uh, male flowers and female flowers. The female flowers have the fruit behind the blossom and the male flowers are just on a long stalk stem like that. Uh, some people will harvest the blossoms. Uh, female flowers, once they start to fade, you can take those off. The male flowers, you don't need very many of them, so you can take those off and you can harvest those and do some, some nice culinary tricks with that. But to harvest them, that's I like to get them a little bit bigger, but that's a pretty good size uh, zucchini. I use my pocket knife, it's a lot easier that way, and then just uh, I've got a zucchini ready to go. Now here's, the, here's where it's planted, and I've got four main stems coming out. So what I've done is as the plant gets bigger, I will remove the leaves as we go out so that we've got some exposure here. You'll try to grow some more stems. Four is probably about enough for uh, normal planting, but uh, you, just, you, you just remove those leaves so you can see the fruit as they're growing. Now as you look here, this is the one I just put the fruit off from right here. We've got this leaf. The fruit was taken off up here, so about five or six leaves back. I just take my pocket knife and uh, cut off the leaf leaf and put it where either I'm going to compost it or throw it away and that makes it so that uh, I don't have all those leaves in the way. Another couple of benefits you get from that is at least later in the season you'll get powdery mildew will build up on these squash leaves and so taking those old leaves off will leave it with healthy leaves and you'll be less likely to have that powdery mildew come in and cause problems that way. Also um, uh, your, your squash bugs can be kind of a problem in zucchini and so getting the, uh, those old leaves out of the way where the eggs have been laid on the leaves, that also helps to kind of manage the squash bug a little bit, makes it easier to see the squash bug. So it's just a lot better way to manage. Here's that male blossom you couldn't see in that other spot there. That's what the male blossom is, just a long stalk. And then the blossom, there's no fruit behind that. So there's just another way to have fun in your garden.